हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर मुख मोहित सिंह योर कम्युनिटी मेडिसिन फैकल्टी दिस वीडियो सेशन इज नॉट अबाउट रिकॉल्स अबाउट फ्रॉम आई एन एस एट मे ट्वेंटी एग्जाम बट येस डेफिनेटली आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट दिस वेरी डिफिकल्ट एग्जाम सो वेन आई वॉज अपेयरिंग फॉर पी जी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम इन समवेयर इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव एंड सिक्स वी यू सो हैव एम्स एग्जाम जिपमर एग्जाम जिपमर पॉंडिचेरी एग्जाम पी जी आई चंडीगढ़ एग्जाम एंड सो ऑन एवरी नाउ एंड देन एवरी थ्री टू फोर ईयर्स एट दट टाइम ऑल्सो वी यूज टू हैव वेरी डिफिकल्ट एग्जाम गूगली क्वेश्चन ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन पीपल यूज टू गेट डिस सो वट माई पॉइंट इज दैट यू गॉट डिफिकल्ट एग्जाम दिस टाइम सो डोंट थिंक दैट आई एम डूम्ड दिस वर्ल्ड इज गोइंग टू एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एंड नो बडी इज वर्थ एनी थिंग दिस इज गॉन दिस इज बेकार इट्स नॉट वर्थ इट don't think like that it has been happening since last 15 20 years every now and then the examiners will increase the difficulty level of the questions there are beta typically four very difficult or dhokke baaz subjects i would say four or five dhokke baaz subjects uh, they are dhokke baaz or difficult not in terms of the content of the subject they are difficult because there is no depth there is no end to the depth of the level of the questions which can be asked in the exam so very important first dhokke baaz subject is microbiology then you also have biochemistry then you have forensic medicine community medicine and then you have ophthalmology every 3 4 years the examiners will increase the difficulty of questions from these subjects and therefore the whole paper difficulty will increase so don't think it was difficult only for you it was difficult beta for everyone questions like kaplan meier survival analysis bands and confidence interval do you think they uh, it's there in standard books not at all not even the pg students would be knowing about them so be rest assured take it easy whatever has been very frequently asked make sure that you do not get those questions wrong those are the questions which are going to uh, generate or give you ranks in the or scores in the exam okay but yes there was one question on kappa stats beta kappa stats i had discussed in marrow videos also and a lot of students asked me to discuss that question very importantly because every time i am getting a lot of messages so there i am going to discuss the kappa stats question for you right now The question in exam was calculate the degree of agreement as Kappa statistics for the following data set comparing the IGRA and the tuberculin test. So some people were given IGRA test or some people were given the tuberculin test and they wanted to check the level of agreement because it said some people were TB suspect and non TB by IGRA, TB suspect and no TB by tuberculin test, right? So the options they had given was 0.2, 0.8, 0.6 and so on. So how to calculate the Kappa stat statistics? That is what the question was. you already know the formula for kappa stats it is given by the formula observed agreement minus expected agreement divided by the total minus expected agreement so what is observed agreement ao that is observed agreement ae stands for the expected agreement so whatever number you get generate from this formula the kappa stats that is like it will range from 0 to 1 0 means no agreement 1 means perfect agreement generally speaking more than 0.7 generally speaking more than 0.7 that is usually taken as a very good agreement and more than 0.8 it is called as near perfect and one is perfect agreement right now let us come back to the question and see how to find out observed agreement and expected agreement so if you remember this table this table was given in your exam so you see that there were some people who got igra test done So how many people got the IGRA test done? IGRA test was done in 80 plus 40, 120 people. 60 and 20 that is 80 people. So 120 and 80 that is 200 people. So 200 people got IGRA test. Out of them, 120 said yes and 80 said no. Okay. Next, talking about the tuberculin test. Tuberculin test was done in 80 and 20. How much it comes out? 100. Next is 60 and 40. How much does it come out? 100. So Tuberculin test beta it was done in 200 individuals 50% answered yes and 50% answered no that is how the story goes now how to calculate the observed and the expected observed agreement so i'll shade the area which was observed so igra says yes tb the tb suspect also says yes tb this box they both said yes 80 people were said both test saying yes and 60 60 times or 60 people they had both people saying both the test saying no so which was good agreement so 80 plus 60 this is what is the observed agreement this is what is the observed agreement that is equal to 140 so that is your value number 1 the value number 2 you were supposed to calculate the expected agreement so expected agreement how many times yes and how many times no you just add them that will be the expected agreement so how many times yes so just look at the screen please these many people these many people these 100 people 
this hundred people they were yes by tuberculin test tb suspect yes and this 120 people they were tb suspect by the igra so for yes it is 100 times 120 divided by 200 because that is the total number right that is the total number of expected agreement from the yes that is uh, 00, 0 cut to 6 so answer is 60 on the other hand no so this many people i'll just shade them in blue color so this many people were said no TB by the tuberculin and this many people were said no TB by the IGRA test. So no TB was given by, no TB was given by 100 into 80 divided by 200. So 0, 0 gone, 2 and 4, answer is 40. So 60 plus 40, that is 100, is the AE. That is your another value that you need to know. So how to solve the answer? What is the answer? You remember that how to do kappa statistics? You know that kappa is observed minus expected over one minus or total minus the expected. That is how much was observed? 140 minus 100 over total. What was the total? Total is 200. So total is 200 minus expected that is 100. So that will come out to be 40 over 100 that is 0 0.4. So that's just a small way to solve the kappa stats and 0.4 was the technically correct answer in your exam.